there, everybody? It is your boy Cap back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Today, we are going to be going over the 13 brand new Super Souls that are within this free update. And again, man, this is just another example of something that is like DLC quality in terms of the amount of content that we've gotten with this free update. When we get a DLC pack, usually we only get like 10 Super Souls all together in the whole pack and free update together this one gave us 13 so again man just another example of how good in my opinion this free update has been but let me know what you've thought about this free update up until this point in time but before we get into this video right here guys want to um just say huge huge shout out to homie demon boy really quickly because he is the one who shared all these he found them in the pc files and then took the screenshots and uploaded them for us so we could have a look at them so again huge shout out to him his twitter will be linked down below in the description now getting into the first one guys as you see it says let's make this interesting supreme kai of time super soul when using charge skills activates key auto recovery mode for all allies that super soul right there may not be too bad for the new online tour mode if you're doing expert mission or the parallel quest that may not be a bad super soul for your team because you're going to use charge skills and then it's going to activate key auto recovery for their teammates from then on out so again it's not the greatest super soul obviously for yourself in any way shape or form but for the new online tour mode i can definitely see it having some uses without doubt now next up we have who the hell are you bastards it's his uh this is launches super soul and when the battle begins you get an xl restoration to your key that's three bars i believe and then temporarily boost strength of key blast skills by an xxl amount which i believe is 25 or 30 i think it's 25 percent um in terms of a boost but it also says a bit of time after the battle starts removes the XXL boost of uh, to strength of key blast skills and it deals sleep damage to self as well. So it's kind of like a quick hitting type of super soul. Really not the most optimal in any way, shape, or form because once you go to sleep, a whole bunch can happen to you from that point on. They can stamina break you and go into an ultimate and you just got over a bar of your health eaten for no reason. So again, not the greatest super soul in the world um, when you see that negative effect at the end. But moving on, we got, uh, please, you gotta believe me. This is Raditz's super soul. Once only one guard is broken, temporarily weaken strength of all opponents' attacks, but damn, by an XXL amount? So you're, what? You're weakening the strength of all your opponents' attacks by 25 to, it's either 25 or 30% when it comes to XXL. It's one of the two, I believe um but to do that during a stamina break that's damn good like that's a damn good super soul when you get stamina broken because it's going to be that much harder like if you're stamina broken with a decent amount of health you have a really good chance of living now because of how that super soul works but also it says temporarily reduces opponent wow so not only are their damage gonna their damage is gonna be lower they're gonna be moving slower too so if they mess up the combo or any part of the combo they gotta like charge at you or fly towards you or anything like that they'll be moving so that's a that's a damn decent super soul i'm not gonna lie to you that's that's actually pretty good i want to see how much the damage negation i guess really is and how much slower your opponent really is moving and things like that but that, that's a pretty cool super soul not going to lie to you. Probably the best solo Super Soul we've seen so far up until this point. All right, moving on. We got You Fool, Why Are You Laughing? This is a uh, perfect Cell Super Soul. Once only one hit with an ultimate attack and you have step. I mean, okay, so, oh, so it's saying if you get hit with the ultimate without being stamina broken. Okay. It temporarily activates health auto recovery mode. I mean, I guess. But nobody really used maybe for the computer, like parallel quest but even then it only happens once so what is that health out of recovery by an xxl amount gonna really help in the five minute plus long parallel quest you know um a lot of these super souls aren't the best in the world from what i'm seeing so far the fact that they only activate once and they only give like just certain boosts for a short amount of time not the best super souls especially when you're talking about pvp but let's see what else we got we got booze reach full power this is bobby's super soul this is this all okay oh this is an always super soul um reduces key recovery recovery speed by a medium amount mm, that's not the best but then when key is maxed out boost strength of all attacks by an xxl amount huh that's kind of contradicting because i'm curious as to whether or not when you use a move with your key maxed out does it still get that xxl boost because technically 
when you use a move you're taken away from your key being maxed out so the super soul would go away but you started it with your key maxed out so would it still get that boost because if it still gets that boost then it's not a bad super soul um but if it doesn't get that boost then it's really just boosting basic attacks because to use a move you have to use key huh that's interesting i have to i've definitely do some more testing with that definitely an interesting super soul um, next up that we have not on my watch is Hercules Super Soul when an ally gets KO'd. Temporary boost strength of all attacks by an XXL amount and temporarily increases damage taken from what? 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 What the hell? This is an asshole. Why would you even want to wear this? Cool, you get an XXL boost to your strength, but you're also getting an XXL boost to the damage you take. Like what? And usually when allies get KO'd, it's more of like expert mission stuff. Like it's, imagine being an expert mission or in a raid and you have an XXL damage taken increase. Like what? You would die so quick. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm really liking that super soul at all. Um, sounds pretty trash in my opinion. But next up we have over here, you idiot. This is Gohan Adult Super Soul. When using Z Vanish during a during an attack. Temp what? what? Temporarily increases stamina recovery speed? And then temporarily boost strength of all attacks. Wow. I wonder how long this temporary boost and wow. You're gonna Z vanish. Like this is a, this is honestly sounding like a damn good super soul right now from what I'm thinking. Because think about it. You're gonna Z vanish at any time. I, points in the battle. It's gonna happen. Unless you're playing someone who's absolutely buns, you're gonna use a Z vanish. When you use that Z Vanish, your stamina recovery speed and the strength to all of your attacks get a 10% increase. Because that's what the medium boost is. So honestly, man, that's 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 pretty damn good. Now, I don't think it can stack it. Usually when um, stuff can stack in terms of Super Souls, it says that it can. But I don't think that these... Because, I mean, there are times where you can use multiple Vanishes in succession or like within a 5-10 second span. So again, I don't think that this Super Soul stacks, but that's still a damn good Super Soul. The fact that you're getting a medium increase to your stamina, recovery, and then a medium boost to all of your attacks just for vanishing, like I said, something that's going to happen anyway, that's definitely not too bad. That's that's an interesting Super Soul right there. All right, next up though, we got Bye Bye Universe. This is Zeno's Super Soul. When your health is below 25%, activates... What? Why would you want this? Activates health auto reduction for all allies? What? And then when you are KO, deactivates health. What? Health auto reduction. What I'm getting from that is it's it's like auto eating at their health. Why? What? What? That's a terrible super soul. It literally has no positives, and then it only eats away at your teams. That's so stupid. Who the hell are thinking of some of these super souls at Bandai? Like my God. What the hell? Moving on though, we have who is my next target? Hit Super Soul when an enemy is KO. Temporarily boost strength of all um, all attacks, and then temporarily increase the damn his movement speed. He already has some of the fastest movement speed in the game. For all characters to get a boost to that through Super Soul, he wouldn't really need it. Now, then again, how often would you really use this Super Soul? Considering it's one that is for offline, definitely won't be using it on hit in any way, shape, or form because Pit is really just a PVP monster. Um, and when it comes to offline, I really don't see this Super Soul being used at all. Um, I really don't like a lot of the when an enemy is KO'd Super Souls or anything like that because usually they just are strictly PvE and not ones that are good for both. I like the Super Souls that honestly uh, lean towards both PvE and PvP. But let's keep this thing moving, guys. I think we have like one, uh, two left, I think. Um, but next up is I was going to escape with you. This is Paragus' Super Soul. Once, um, once only one health is below 25%, restore stamina for allies by an XL amount. So basically, they get three bars of stamina for all your allies just for reaching health below 25%. Um, next up, though, is give me power to take this guy down. This is Goku's Super Soul. When assisted by an ally... What, what is an assist by an ally in this game? Like, they heal you? Or something like that? Like, they use an item for you? I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, let me know down below in the comments what that exactly means because that's not ringing a bell for me. But anyways, it boosts strength of all attacks by an XXL amount. Effect increases based on number of allies assisting. Damn. So if you have like two allies assisting, all your attacks are getting two XXL amount boost. That's insane. And then when health is below 25%, reduces... That's not bad. 
that's not bad i i wonder if this is i don't think this is one assisted by no that's not one assisted. When, just when your health is below 25 percent your damage taken is reduced by a large amount that's not bad at all but overall not the greatest super soul um next up though we have general blue super soul that belongs to the red ribbon army it triples your zenny earn but reduces score gain to zero i'm assuming score is your xp um because why else would anybody just care about the score that they get in a match? It's not like anybody's trying to go for the high score or anything like that. So I'm assuming that means XP. Don't know for sure, though. Um, next up, though, he says, this is um, Goku Super Soul. My hobbies are reading and sports. And when the battle ends, um, reduces any earn to zero. Okay, so it's basically the opposite of General Blue Super Soul. This one triples your score gain, reduces your Zenny to zero. General Blue triples your Zenny and reduces your score gain. Okay, that makes sense. And that is it. All the other listings on here, guys, are the scales that are all available to us at this point in time in the regular Xenoverse 2 um, game. So I'm not going to actually go over that. All the Super Souls obviously are not available to all of us or to us at this point in time. We're still rating on the raids and things like that to get the rest of them. Some of them have been available and are available through the Supreme Cop time event, which is going on right now. So be sure to get those. But I'm assuming the rest will be made um, available through raids and things like that but let me know what you guys think about all these different super souls guys um again huge huge shout out to homie demon boy for sharing this on twitter his twitter will be linked down below in the description like he made a whole drive and, and a whole file and things like that for us so again man huge huge shout out to him for all the work he does not only with this but everything regarding the dragon ball and the xenoverse communities but till next time thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and as always hope you have a good day peace y'all